Hello Aquarius, how's it going? I hope you're super well. Um, my name is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be your year ahead spread for 2022. I really cannot believe it's the end of the year. Like, I don't know where December went. I really don't. <laughs> um, you are very welcome here, Aquarius. Thank you very much for taking the time to check out the reading. I appreciate you doing that a lot. Um, let's see if I can shuffle the cards. And you know, if you find the reading, uh, you enjoy the reading, Aquarius, and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I would appreciate that a lot. So we're going to start off with like um, general energies for the year. Then we're going to take a look at career and finances. And then we're going to look at love. And then we'll get some uh, advice cards to close down the reading. Wow, okay. You have some um, interesting cards, nice cards. Wow, the six of wands for your main theme. Oh my god, Aquarius. Look at this. Okay. Alrighty, you have the five of cups for your parting message. Um, but you know what, don't even worry about that because whatever it means, you, ha you have such beautiful energy in this reading. Um, you have the moon at the bottom of the deck, so there could be some surprises on the way, things that you're not expecting. You have the six of wands for the overall, like the main theme of the year. <laughs> so the six of wands is victory and success triumph over adversity. You might end up getting a lot of attention in your work um, from various people in your life, something like this. But yeah, movement forward. There might be some news that you've been waiting on for a while coming in. But yeah, success. <laughs> you have a lot of success for this year, Aquarius. You have the Knight of Pentacles for your opening message. So... <laughs> I want to say now is not the time to be going slow because you have the Eight of Wands for the best way to achieve your goals. So the Eight of Wands is all about kind of being bold and taking action and, you know, being dynamic. Um, so I want to say that Knight of Pentacles, things may have been moving very slow. This Knight of Pentacles may be an offer that you've been waiting to come in for a while, like from, for a job in particular with the Pentacles. Um, like some kind of job opportunity. There is some recognition here. That Knight of Pentacles, it can also be a love offer coming in, you know, from somebody that's been very slow. But I feel like things have been slow. This has been coming out in the readings a lot, you know, because I feel like literally almost nothing happened last year for most people. Everyone was just like, why is nothing moving? But this year I feel like things are going to start moving. And with the Hierophant here as well, listen to your intuition, keep the faith. It's important to keep the faith with the Hierophant card. And you know, make sure you're tapping into your intuition, like listening to your higher self. You know, because I know when things are moving slowly with that Knight of Pentacles, it can be very tempting to just kind of give up and just be like, oh my God, you know what? I don't want to do this anyway. Like it's taking too long. Like I'm just done. And you know, you go and start chasing something else of like the lower will, but you know, they don't want you doing that here. Like listen to your intuition because you have some kind of brand new in the future opportunities. You have an opportunity <laughs> basically, because that's what the Ace of Wands is. It's something new. 
some kind of really exciting opportunity that's coming in. It could also be a pregnancy for some of you, but it's like, it could, you know, birthing something new, like it can be a brand new idea that comes to you. If you do have an idea with the Eight of Wands, like make sure you're sharing it with someone. You know, don't keep ideas to yourself. I want to say there's something here about, um, like even if you think it's a bad idea, use it. Make sure you're being open and communicating. Obviously don't be telling everyone because then people will steal your ideas, you know, but you know, for example, if you've got an idea for a video or something on, you know, that people would enjoy on YouTube, make it. You know what I mean? Like, don't keep ideas to yourself. Like, if you think you have a really good idea, share it with the right people. You, I think you've been in some kind of transition period because you have this death card underneath the Knight of Pentacles. So you've been going through some kind of transition period, but that's leaving now. And now it's like all systems go kind of thing. You could also have a Scorpio leaving your life for some of you. But I want to say the transition period is now over and you're moving forward. This could also be a new relationship coming in, you know, the Ace of Wands. It's something new. You, you have some kind of new opportunity. You know, the Ace of Wands, it could be like a really good idea for something is what I want to keep going back to. So you have the Three of Cups here in your obstacles. Um, so you could be, I don't know, maybe there's some family or friends that kind of, I don't know, maybe get in your way a little bit. Like maybe they hold you back in some way. You know, make sure you're sharing your ideas with the right people. Or make sure you're sharing your information with the right people. You know, because you do sometimes have those family members or friends around when you tell them what you want to do and they're like, I don't know why you want to do that. That's a stupid idea. Or like, that's not going to work. Or like, ah ha ha, you're so funny with your crazy ideas. You know, just be careful what you're saying to people. Because this is a year of movement for you. And the thing is, Aquarius, sometimes people don't like to see you move forward when they're staying in the same place, you know? So... Maybe this year you gotta be a bit surreptitious about what you're doing or what's going on. The Three of Cups also, I mean, some of you might be tempted to party too hard this year, Aquarius. Maybe there's something like that going on here, um, but it's something like that in your obstacles. It's not a huge obstacle though, you know? I would just say be careful like who you're telling your plans to because obviously it's, you know, sometimes it's just best to keep your plans to yourself and just get them done, you know? And then people can't screw it up for you. Um, but also, yeah, like don't party too much this year, you know, because you have you have things to do this year. You have the Queen of Pentacles in your talent. So this year you are going to be feeling a lot more grounded. You know, Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this, this is something that's come through for a lot of the air signs. All three of them. Um, I feel like it came through for Gemini and maybe Libra. I can't quite remember, but yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is all about grounding your energy. You know, making sure you pay your bills on time, making sure that you're eating healthily, making sure you're cleaning the apartment, or um, you know, not living in a dream world because you know we're all guilty of that. That your signs, right? You have this um, Five of Cups in your parting message. So let's get a card on that because that can mean a, ooh, a lot of things. Seven of Cups here as well. Clarify this Five of Cups please. There's something is going to be illuminated for you this year, like for some reason you felt stuck, like you couldn't move forward. And I don't know if it's because you're attached to certain a 
certain situation in your old life, like maybe family and friends that you're out, you've outgrown. Because, you know, sorry, but sometimes you, you outgrow people. It's just, just what happens. Um, so I don't know if maybe you were feeling a bit stuck in that respect, or maybe you were just feeling stuck. Because that Knight of Pentacles, there has been a lot of slow moving energy. Maybe you were just feeling very stuck in terms of like things not moving forward, you know, all of this. But with the Ace of Swords, this is some kind of mental clarity that breaks you out of this feeling stuck. So you might get some kind of information or you might be shown something with the sun, like spirit might show you something that's going to make you think a lot more clearly because this Five of Cups, everything is going to turn out the way that you want <laughs> because you have the Six of Wands here for your main theme, you know what I mean? And you have some kind of opportunity here and here, you know, it's just a beautiful reading. Um, so I wonder if there's something to do with, because obviously he's looking at these Three of Cups that have been spilt here. And you have this Three of Cups in your obstacles, so I don't know if there's family or friends or something like that that have been kind of holding you back or, or convincing you you can't do something or something like this and you have some kind of clarity about it. It could also be some of you might have been involved in a third party at some point in terms of love that you're now moving past because you're getting some kind of clarity about it. You know, it could also be the Three of Cups, it could be a business partnership that you're finally, you're like, the hell with this, <laughs> this isn't working, so you move away from it. I want to say these two are related, you know, but there's something, it's basically just success all year, you know, but there is something that I, I, I think you're just, I don't know if it's just memories of the past that have been making you feel a bit stuck or it's like the people around you, but you're going to be showing something anyway. So let's do career, finances, and love. Okay, <clears throat> you have the Ace of Swords for your career. You have the Six of Wands for your finances. So it's definitely an improvement in your finances, like victory over hardships for the Six of Wands. Okay, let's see what else for your career. Can we have the cards for the rest of the year, please, in the career? Wow. There's some kind of new opportunity that comes very early on next year, January, February, March, with that Ace of Pentacles. You have the Justice for April, May, June. You have the Page of Cups for July, August, September. And one more, please, Spirit, for the end of the year. The Four of Swords, all right. Um, I want to say you might be kind of busy at the end of the year. Make sure you're taking time to rest. Eight of Cups. There's something here this year about you getting on your true path in terms of your career. You're going to be guided very much by your intuition. There's something here about you leaving behind this Three of Cups. I don't know if you're leaving behind a partnership or like, you know, a group of people that you work with that maybe kind of leave you out in the cold a little bit because I do see an ending here. And this Five of Swords, you have the five of wands, the five, it's just time, it's time for you to end something and I feel like it's about people. I feel like there's something to do with people here so I don't know if this is like literally your job or 
you're having to, like I said, you're having to ignore friends and family or something. I feel like this is not about love so much. It could be both, but I feel like there's some kind of, or maybe the third part, like a third party situation in your work somehow. You know, maybe there's three of you working in a, in a department and you just can't take their shit anymore, so you just leave. Um, the Five of Swords, it's leaving behind something kind of nasty, something that's not working. So maybe you've been working with people that suck or a bunch of women that suck, that are awful people um, that have maybe left you out in the cold or something. But there's some, the overall energy for your career is the Ace of Swords. So this is like mental clarity about something, some kind of breakthrough. And then you have this Ace of Pentacles, January, February, March, which is an offer. It's some kind of divinely guided offer coming in from the universe. So it could be an offer, could be a promotion. Maybe you got to leave your friends behind to be promoted. Because um, you're off on your new path. You know, maybe it's a brand new job and you've got to leave the people that you really liked to work with behind. Maybe it's a job that involves you traveling abroad somewhere and you got to leave your friends and family behind. But there is some offer coming in January, February, March, and it's going to improve your finances because you have the six of wands here in your finances, which is victory, improvements moving forward. Then you have the justice for April, May, June in your career. So there's like some kind of balance coming to something like you're being rewarded for your successes. You're being recognized. It's like um, the universe is kind of acknowledging all the work that you've put in and like things are being balanced out. Again, you have the two swords here. So I don't know if there's some kind of decision that you have to make around about April, May, June regarding your career like maybe you're offered this position early on in the year and then you have to think about it because maybe it involves moving or leaving people behind that you like or something um or maybe people are telling you not to do it like maybe there's negative people in your life that are convincing you you can't do it or something but there's some kind of decision here april may june and then july august september the page of cups he is all about getting on your true path with regards to career, like doing the thing that you're supposed to be doing. And then I see by the end of the year, they're telling you October, November, December, it's either like you're working too hard and you, or you need to take a break, or there's gonna be a lot of peace that comes in at the end of the year. I'm more inclined to say Make sure you're resting at the end of the year next year because I, th I think you're going to have a lot to do. Make sure you don't take on too much. So let's do love. Okay, what's coming towards Aquarius in love for 2022, please, Spirit? Whoa, look at that. Sorry, you can't see. The Ace of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles. So, oh my God. Okay, <laughs> could be an offer from a Leo. Nobody else got this many cards, but we're gonna take them for you because I feel called to. So there's an offer coming in your love life too, Ace of Pentacles. Maybe this is tied in with your career. Maybe like somebody offers you to go abroad or something and you have to make a decision about it and then it's you fall in love with the person or something, but there's an offer coming in and it's something for many of you, I think you've been waiting for a specific person for a long time. Um, or you've been single for a really long time and then you meet this person because it's the Seven of Pentacles is something you've been waiting for. Page of Wands, this is communication and a message. And the Two of Cups, I mean, that's a soulmate card, you know. 
and this person is going to make you feel very you're going to be very very interested in this person Aquarius I was about to say Capricorn, maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, so January, February, March of the Five of Pentacles. Okay, what else please? What else please? The Eight of Swords. There's, there's this love that comes in. Could be a Capricorn, or a Capricorn hurt you in the past. Could be a fire sign. Clarify that Five of Pentacles, please. Right, this offer comes in, it looks like it comes in fairly early on in the year because you have the Five of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the, the, the thing. The Knight of Cups. So there's some, there's an emperor that's hanging around your energy early on in January, February, March that comes in to make you this offer and brings you in out of the cold. This person's looking for commitment, the Ten of Cups. But I don't know if it just takes you a really long time to think about it or maybe you guys start dating. But you have the Eight of Swords here in April, May, June, so I think you're not sure. And the thing is, you have this Queen of Swords, see the way that's come out? The Queen of Swords with the Knight of Swords. So this person comes charging in, could be another Aquarius, but you're like, blocked. No. You're going to have to work a bit harder than that, son, to get my attention, or lady. Ace of Cups, it's either someone brand new, or it's a, f a new phase in an existing relationship. It could be a Capricorn, or it could be that a Capricorn has broken your heart in the past, so you're not so into this person. I think they're a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. You know, I really think, I think it takes you until around about July, August, September to let this person in because they're kind of, I don't know if you meet them early on in the year and they show some interest and you're kind of like, eh, I don't know about this and it takes them a while but, or like you meet them and you guys are friends for a while and then they make their move around about July, August, September. There's something like that. But certainly by July, August, September, this person will have made their move. Like they might, I think it's a fire sign or they have strong fire in their charts. But it's maybe like that you guys meet at the start of the year and they make it known they're interested. But then July, August, September, they really make a move. Or like they ask you out at the start of the year and then they ask you again, July, August, September, because they're really fascinated by you. They really, really are. And then October, November, December, I see this, per you really, you finally let your guard down with this person and you guys like move it to the next level. You know what I mean? Like you start dating or like you're properly together. Do you know what I mean? By the end of the year.
That Five of Cups and the, the Devil can also be, like, doesn't have to be to do with a Capricorn, but you're worried you're going to get your heart broken again. Because some of you have been cheated on, I think. Or you got involved in a third party situation by mistake, of course. Who would want to do that on purpose? Um, nobody walks into that, right? Okay, so you have Canary Spirit. Sing your own song. You have Set Healthy Boundaries, the Armadillo. You have Time to Heal. Oh, and Embrace the In Between. You have Time for a Deep Dive. I swear that card has come out in every single reading nearly. So. You have Sing Your Own Song, The Canary, and The Armadillo Set Healthy Boundaries. So I think cana um, Canaries, Aquarius, you guys always kind of sing your own song, but it's a number three. You have two three cards here, so there's something here about setting healthy boundaries. And this could be to do with that three of cups that keeps showing up. Like maybe there's just some people in your life that you got to be like, kibosh. <laughs> You can't come where I'm going. You know what I mean? Like if they're putting you down or something, like don't just obviously not say you should be a dick for the sake of it. But you know, if there's people that are going, that's a stupid idea or like that offer that person's made, like I don't think you could do that. Like why would you want to move abroad? You know, when it's a great, it's obviously a great opportunity, whatever it is that comes in. You know what I mean? So, because there is something here about setting healthy boundaries and doing your own thing. You have... The snake, time to heal, that came out with the flamingo, embrace the in-between. So this could be about that period in your love life. Like, like I said, maybe you meet them early on, but you don't let them in till later, or you don't seriously start dating or something till later on. But there's been a period of healing. The reason spirit has made you wait is so that you could heal, or that will be coming, you know? Um, and you have the swan, time for a deep dive. So big changes afoot this year, Aquarius. Like it's time to, you know, really dive deep and bring out that strong inner stuff because Spirit's giving you a lot this year. And they, it's going to be different, you know. There might be, like I said, there might be some people you got to leave behind this year. There might be a specific job you got to leave behind this year. You know, there might be someone from your past that hurt you that you got to leave behind. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. It was an absolute pleasure to read for you. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. And I want to wish you a really wonderful year in 2022. I hope everything works out exactly the way that you want it to. Um, and lots of love, Aquarius. Take care.